Hello, this is Orion, we're back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, one of the things that made it so hard for me not to play Theros, like I wanted a break, but Theros kind of brought back enchants, and I, I just love enchantment decks. I mean, back when I used to play Paper Magic, you know, years ago, um, two of the Two of my most favorite decks I had were um, a creature, a deck like this, Creature Enchantments, where, uh, and Lifelink, some things worked differently back then, like Lifelink stacked in the rules back then. And so <clears throat> I would have, I forget the enchantment's name, but it was one green, one white, and one uh, colorless. But it would give like two pl plus two plus two trample and Lifelink. And I would stack that on top of a Yavi May Enchantress, which gets plus two plus two for each enchantment on it. And um, yeah, so I would end up having this like 2020 3 X Lifelink Attacker with Trample and First Strike. And yeah, it was good times. And then the other enchantment deck that I used to play a lot was... Um, <laughs> Sorry, it was, um, I think it was the Onslaught block. No, I, I can't remember what block it was. But anyway, it had like Words of the Wild, Words of Wind, Words of Worship. It had that that set, whatever set that is. It might have even been Urza's Saga. Although, yeah, because Urza's Saga was legal at the time, I think. Um, but there was a card called Argothian Enchantress, which is basically, you know, whenever an enchantment comes under the battlefield under your control, you draw a card. Or whenever you play an enchantment, you draw a card. And then there was also Enchantress's Presence, which was a three mana cost enchantment, also in green, that um, that lets you draw a card whenever you played an enchantment. So basically there were eight cards in the deck that when you played an enchantment, you draw a card. So, uh, and then there was uh, Exploration, which was a one green cost. You can may play an extra land this turn. And then there was things like Fertile Ground, which, you know, you tap a land for extra mana. And then there was Words of Wind, Words of the Wild, and Words of Worship. Um, and basically, in, you got so much value over your opponent if you survived the early game that you just wiped them out. And there were several ways to accomplish this. Uh, one, I had an infinite mana combo in the deck uh, that splashed white. And it was a five mana gold uh, green white card, I believe, and I I can't remember the name of it anymore. But uh, I'd have to go look at my deck. I could grab it out and do that maybe next time. Um, but basically, you ended up either bouncing everything your opponent controlled with words of wind, or you ended up uh, making a ton of bear tokens with words of the wild. Uh, and those, the way those cards worked were with, it, instead of drawing a card, you may choose to do effect X. And Words of Wind was bounce things. Words of Worship was gain five life. Words of the Wild was make a two two grizzly bear token. The other two in the other two colors, black and red, they didn't really get played because you couldn't really card advantage yourself. It was green where all the card advantage was because that's where you were drawing cards with enchantments. So, you know, you get a couple Argothian Enchantresses and an Enchantress Presence on the board, and suddenly you're drawing three cards every time you play an enchantment. So you play an enchantment, and then you you pay mana, and you do the effect instead of drawing a card. Yeah, it was there was two mana to do the effect as well. Um, you know, so, you know, there, and you could even do screw it, like you make a bunch of tokens, and then you choose to bounce the tokens with your Words of Worship while everybody else is bouncing things back to their hand. And it was an absolutely her horrendously fun yes the, those two go together horrendously fun deck to play in multiplayer because it's all of it's all players do it so unfortunately you know everybody would target you right after you did something like that uh but that was always the fun of multiplayer is to like ho hum de dum de dum you know i I'm in a six-player game. La, da, 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 da. Suddenly you play something that, you know, every opponent does this and that. And it's like, uh, suddenly you have five people looking at you with hatred. But, yeah, anyway, so that's my history with enchantment decks. I love enchantment decks. They're awesome. 
And so that's kind of what drew me back into Theros first thing. So here we have an enchantment deck that I found online that I tweaked a little bit. But, you know, it's basically just enchantment, you know, this guy, all the glitters. He didn't have all the glitters in the original deck, but I love all the glitters. Uh, Eidolons of Destruction, Destiny Spinners, that's another thing that wasn't in the original, but I hate counterspell decks, so here you go. Uh, four bronze side lines. Now, if we were actually playing best of three, Destiny Spinner would be in the sideboard, obviously. Uh, four Banishing Lights, four Citizen Champions, four First Erring Games, four Sun Darkon, whatever. Two Mantle of the Wolves, four Calyxes. I wish there was something that let you play extra lands. There is something that lets you play extra lands. And a couple Elspeth Conquers, Conquers Death and a bunch of lands. Oh, what the flippity flop. I know there's something in this that lets you play extra lands per turn. No? I thought there was something besides Sawtooth to let you do it. But anyway, let's, uh, so this is an enchantment deck. We're going to go play a standard event. I actually don't know why I'm doing that, because I actually want to get gold. Because I think those lands are awesome, and I don't have enough gold in what doing. And I also didn't even look at my quest, because i got to complete the quest to get the gold, so I can buy the stuff I want to buy. But, you know, whatever. Mount... Mount Whateverest. Mount Whateverest. Well, that would be flippin' wonderful. You know, this happens way too often in uh, in these in this game where you get land screwed on two colors. Oh fuck me! Hit the wrong button. Wonderful. Son of a bitch. And then there's that kind of thing that would never actually happen if you were playing Paper Magic. <laughs> Well, if we draw a white land, we'll keep in it for a couple of turns. And if we don't draw a white land, then obviously we'll get the hell out. Looks like we're going to be getting the hell out. Oh, hey, I also have one of those. Hey, look at that. Are you going to play your own? That would be nice. To have a battle of the Citizen Champions. Really? A cavalcade? What in the sh... That... Okay, now that's just getting nuts. Huh. <sighs> This is what happens when you mulligan screw up. Oh well. Let's go and this time not screw up our mulligan. I'm sorry if you didn't like that long intro, but you know what? I love enchantments, so I had to talk about my history with enchantment decks. Uh, yeah, that's actually a keeper. Why are people so bent on mono flipping red? Oh yeah, we're blocking that. Go ahead, shock it, whatever. Whatever. Just 
kill the two for one. God, really? Love it. I mean, it's mono red. If you if you don't drop your first couple of lands, you're dead. Unfortunate, but true. And you know, we've gone first all three games, which I think is kind of funny. Well, let's get Eidolon out. Destiny Spinner is what I should have done. Oh god. Oh god. Well, if we can land that, that might suck. Managed to land that on the board. The other day when I was testing this deck out, I got flooded with mana every single game. So now, naturally, I'm getting nothing. Because that's fun. Okay. Can't counter it. Still doesn't let you counter it. If he's willing to lose a cutthroat, you know, then, uh, whatever. Oh. I don't know, he's got counter spells now. That's alright. I hate Civic Flash. By the way, that event that starts tonight, Friday Night Magic, I am so pissed off at that. I'm like, really incredibly pissed off at that. Force a counter spell out of him. Yeah.
Well, you're gonna run out of counters or answers soon. It's like everything I do, he either has to counter or he's deadly. You have a brazen borrower there, buddy? from there. We just drew too many answers. Good lord, and we didn't draw any land. Like flipping hell. Went down to freaking 22 land in the deck because we were flooding out. When I practice the deck, 15... I mean, geez. heck what is going on here like I go down in land because you flood and then you have three straight day three straight games where basically got land screwed because if we'd gotten a fifth a sixth land I could have been casting two threats a turn and he couldn't have responded to all of them but unfortunately we just stayed at two three and four land and he just he just kept having answers for one spell a turn And again, hunting for land. Oh my god. Interesting. Oh my god. Well, it's not like you can stop it. I don't know what you're pausing for. Oh uh, yes, you do have a shock. Not a lightning bolt, though. That just took a small. Like I said, nope. Good lord, he had another one? What is this nonsense? Four toughness is really hard for Red to deal with. 
So next turn we're gonna God. Of course he has level coils. Of course he has level coils. And of course he has a complicated. Friggin' bull. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's take a chance on him not having two model coils. Again? Are you serious? Well, if you could have killed it, you should have killed it before combat. Oh my god. He does have another one. Alright, well, we'll just do this then. I mean, seriously, three Spitfires? What the hell am I supposed to do against that? Yeah. No need to draw another Arcana Sun's Grace now. Well, that could still do it. Yes, please. Enjoy your fourth Spitfire. I'm gonna be really pissed off. Good. Finally drew him out of freaking cards. to do is get an Archon down and then all that glitters it. And he's dead. Yeah, get out of here with your stupid cavalcade. Not gonna lie, I hate cavalcade. What I really hate is, I hate decks that you don't think. And Mono Red is the quin, like, quintessential I don't think about anything deck. Oh my hell. Well, at least we have Vanishing Light again.
well. I'm gonna get that up to cannot kill me. Thinking we banish that and start hitting him. Yeah. That's why banishing light is in the deck. Loves it. Two wins, people. Two wins. Jeez, I got four more emails. Probably all junk. Yarp. What is with the. Oh, whatever. hope the next card under that is a lamb. It's a land, we're good. If it's not, we're fine. Oh my god. Oh no, we're fucked. What is what is with vanishing light? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Well, that's pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. F that. Why are we getting mana screwed so much? I mean, three mana is not too much to ask, is it? Holy cow. I mean, I wasn't one of those people who subscribed to uh, algorithm BS, but if, if taking out one or two lands makes this much of a difference... Oh, hey, we actually got three land in our opening hand. What is this nonsense? And he mulled him once. Oh, there's that. I like it, but 
I mean, it's two mana, three, three, but we don't ever seem to have the mana to spare to activate its ability. Okay. There are much better things in my deck to waste that on. No, I want him to Banishing Light that, so I can Banishing Light his Banishing Light. If he banishes that, I'm getting it back. Friggin' bitch. Oh well. I wanna start exiling stuff, let's go. Who the hell runs disenchant? Seriously, who runs Disenchant? Oh my god. Value engine on the board now. Oh yeah, shouldn't have exiled all the stuff. What he's gonna do. Oh, look at that. Well, let's do a draw engine. Ooh, definitely. But yes, please. I could allow him to recast his banishing light. I don't really want him to do that. So I think for now. I'm just going to wait for my Aracon. And I'll banish anything he plays that scares me.
Yeah, yeah knew that was coming eventually. Well, you can do much with it though. Oh, hells yeah. Maybe I played it too safe. But he played aggressively, and I figured that eventually I was going to outdraw him, which is exactly what happened. Yeah. We outdrew the bugger. Ooh, let's go spend my mastery orb on something. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm not even going to play that, though. I, I am going to play Thassia, though. Because there's too much Risen Reef nonsense and Into the Battlefield nonsense not to play Thassia Dex. Or whatever her name is. Really? Oh, no, that was the previous set. All right. I'm like, really? There's already... Yeah, too bad that's nonsense. Ooh, a neater Kraken. I'm going to be playing Brawl more often, too, hopefully, because I just love Brawl. That was one of the reasons I also stopped playing, is because they made Brawl in an event that you had to pay for. And I was just like, F that. I am not paying for that. I just won't. I'm not paying for nonsense like that. Ooh. Much better. I don't even know what I'm going to get rid of, but it's got to be the old spell. Yes, please. Oh, fucking mono red again. Was that like half our games against mono red so far? Well, you can get through that time. Probably. Okay. Good luck doing that again. Good luck with that. Look at that, he didn't want to attack. Who'd have thunk it?
Okay. Pretty bad use of Ember Cleave there. Yeah, I'm just going to overpower you with that uh, citizen champion. Meh. Double meh. Yeah. He was screwed. He was about to exile his Embercleave. I like being mono red. I also, again, hate mono red, so anytime I beat mono red, it's like, yay! It's probably actually easier to beat mono red these days because it's more creature based. So if you're playing a creature based deck, now you actually have a chance for a bunch of interactions that you didn't have a chance for before because they would just burn all your crap off the board. Again? What is this? Ugh. There's so much more shit. Protects us from the spitter, at least. Let's see, burns it. Which you might. Uh. Hey, if it stays on the board, we win. If it doesn't, we lose. Play a little bit safe here. Next turn, I can play an Eidolon and the Vanishing or in the first Eidolon games. That's only preventing one damage. But they can never cleave now. Yeah, of course they fucking had it. But if I had blocked, they would have just temple cleaved, but I blocked and killed me anyway. Fuck, I hate mono red. I wish just one expansion, one expansion, they would not make mono red the go to deck for everybody. Just once. I don't care whether it's mono green or mono blue or mono whatever is the go-to thing. Just not mono effing red. That's all I ask. Just not mono effing red. Oh my fucking god. You have got to be kidding me with this bullshit. Yeah. 
Yeah, go ahead, waste a burn on it, see if I care. I mean, it doesn't suck it as much as it might otherwise do. Yeah, fuck it. We're getting out of here. I am so effing tired of Mono Red. What did we lose to all three games? Mono Red! Well, no, but still. What did we face? Oh. Not bad. Holy balls. All right, let's try one. one game in ranked. My God. Why do they make mono red the go-to all the time? Well, I don't think I'm gonna need three Skylands. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's probably good. Well, this is going to be a I banish whatever you play kind of game. Though I think he's playing stuff like. Ah! In this land, we are all connected. Anissa. Well, that's a banishing light target if I ever saw one. Look, another banishing light. This is exile, is it? You just put five cards in your graveyard for absolutely nothing. Love it. I mean, we probably lost this game because that and this and Nothing. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I'll block those. Finally. The 
The land shall conquer you. Do it. Attack with your stupid forest. Do it. Oh, give me a goddamn break. Yeah, that's the end of this. Of course, the one flipping card he had in his hand. BS. Can't even enjoy an enchantment deck. That's why I never played an enchantment deck before this expansion with that stupid satyr. Three mana for a 2-2 two -two that just gets burned off the board every time it touches. Not very impressive. The thing that made enchantment decks so good back when I played Paper Magic was the fact that our Gothian Enchantress had uh, Hexproof. So that was pretty awesome. Yeah, this is another um, ooh, instance where if Citizen Champion stays on the board, we pretty much win. And if Citizen Champion does not stay on the board, then we pretty much lose. Sky fires. One turn away from turning on. All right. I gotta hit on that. God. All you want to play with this deck is creature decks. Anything else, you probably lose. But seeing as how much of the meta right now is aggro decks, you kind of expect to see some of them. That's a mulligan. Well, the most useless card in here is probably Mantle of the Wolf. I'll well, keep that. Oh, brother. Well, if we draw some land, we uh, kind of win. If we don't, then uh, life sucks. You murderous rider, that? And we didn't draw land, so we probably lose. Unless this guy plays like an idiot because he doesn't understand things. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Jesus, where is our land? Destroying everything except the most important creature on my game on my board. Well done.
Is that worth it? Well, you better have a board wipe. Not gonna do it. Still not gonna do it, although that's kind of annoying. Keep an open mind. Okay. As long as we're playing dick move, bro. I kind of lost that one by not killing my champion the first thing. Whatever. Alright, that's where I'm going to end the video. Sorry if I'm complaining about mono red too much, but. <sighs> Oh, it annoys me. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Um, I absolutely cannot believe that they put Cavalcade and Civic Flash as two of the decks. It's Civic Flash. And it's not a bad version of Civic Flash either, except maybe it only has... I mean, except maybe it has this... And Brazen Borrower. But, I mean, it's got the Cutthroats, it's got the Spectres, it's got the Wildborn Preservers, it's got Quenches, it's got the Ambushers and the Frilled Mystics. The only thing it's maybe missing is four Sinister Sabotage instead of Thassius. But, oh my god, am I not playing in this event because of that right there. And I don't even know what this looks like. Oh my F. Oh my god. Of course, they complete... No, there's light up the state. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'm not playing in this event. <laughs> I am totally not playing in that event. I'm sorry. Uh, holy balls. Uh, Alright, let's take a look at the fires one. I didn't get to look at the fires one. I mean, you know, they're all... Halfway decent versions of the decks. I mean, only one can read. But. I. Ay, ay, ay. Makes me sad. Alright, anyway, this was Orion. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, please consider liking and subscribing so I can do more of this kind of crap. Yeah, cringy YouTuber stuff, you know, whatever. Comment on how bad you think I am at the game and what I should have done differently. Because I'll just read it and discard it. But, you know, hey, whatever. Have a good night wherever you are. Ryan, out.